Many of the organizations and constituents in Calgary McKay Nose Hill rely on the oil and gas sector for work and for business. And in meeting with private citizens and companies who are stakeholders in the energy industry, I've heard how it's imperative that our government succeeds in getting new pipelines built. Our province's reliance on a single price and a single market for our energy products is having a negative impact, and my riding is feeling the brunt of the drop in oil prices. Can the Minister of Energy update the House on the work she's doing to get pipelines built? Minister of Energy. Well, thank you uh, to the member and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this important question. Uh, I am very, very proud of the work we are doing as a government, uh, along with our Premier, to get to yes to pipelines. We know that uh, access to international markets is critically important, not just for Alberta, but for Canada. Uh, we are now in a state where the United States was our biggest market, now they're our biggest competitor, and we have to continue with the, the drama-free dialogues and get a pipeline case that is judged on its merit, not on politics. We also need everyone to work with us. First supplemental. Thank you. Thank you to the Minister. Mr. Speaker, given the inability of previous governments to get pipelines built, again to the Minister of Energy, how is the Minister working with her counterparts across the country to get pipelines approved? Our Minister of Energy. Uh, thank you again, Mr. Speaker. Um, we are doing a new approach. Uh, past approaches of bullying people and being dramatic about it have not worked. We are taking a, a conscious approach to work with people, work with industry, work with uh, constituents in a concerted effort to get to yes. This isn't just about Alberta, Mr. Speaker. This is about Canada. This is about our economy.